Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Dennis Stoner. Thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial Art of Rome playing as a glorious Athenian Republic. Um, anyway, in the last episode, uh, we... well, not much really went on. We... well, actually, no, that's a lie. We had a civil war that we actually managed to win. It's the very first civil war I've ever had. Normally, I've always been able to kind of control the civil wars and, like, prevent them from firing. But with the loyalty mechanic change, it feels like um, civil wars are going to be more of a common thing. However, I think it still needs rebalancing a bit. I think it's a bit silly for the way it fired. I mean, one guy was disloyal, and this one guy kind of raised half of my country against me. It made no sense. I mean, it was just one dude. It didn't even have any armies under his command so it, it's it kind of it, yeah it's like no we need to do something needs to be done about it it needs to be rebalanced i'm um, also tried to make um recruit a disloyal governor but it doesn't really work um well it didn't work i mean the tooltip it should explain more um it should explain more than that because at the moment all it says is loyalty is less than 40. what it should say is loyalty less than 40 needs to be a friend with the guy and needs to have um and the province needs to have low um uh, what's it uh, low loyalty uh, but it doesn't say any of that so you kind of think okay all you need is loyalty less than 40 then you kind of go for it and then it adds on to that well you need to be a friend with him and then you be a friend with him and then it adds on that the province needs to be not loyal yeah no paradox just give us every single condition we need to start with so i can know what i'm fucking doing uh, but anyway with all that said and done um what we need to do now is definitely get ready to go to war in macedon i want an alliance with thrace so we can cover him from both sides i'm hoping that with us sparta Rome and Thrace, we should be able to do a significant amount of damage to him. Um, I'm hoping that when we declare war on him, the Fridge will see this as an opportunity to try and declare war on him over in Anatolia. So uh, that is the plan. So we need to increase the size of our army a little bit more. We've already increased it a little bit. I would like to get another extra unit of cav on the flanks. That would really be nice. Get another unit of cav on the flanks. Get it up to 212k stacks. It would be more than good. I've got a couple of good generals as well. They're relatively young, which is good. Young and ambitious, which is what I like. And yeah, we're definitely going to do that. So what I want, though, first is the tech. I want some tech because there is a tech down here, permanent ambassadors, which does increase our maximum opinion. Well, the ability to improve the opinion a bit more increases the proof opinion maximum. So we'll take permanent ambassadors, have some of that. A Karoi boss, what's this? I lose some stability. That is not cool. Thank you. Another bad event. Love your paradox. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to improve opinion a bit more with this guy. Actually, I'm going to just quickly bang on Hospitium. Okay, I'll get rid of the, jaw, the loyalty for generals and whatnot. I'll put that back on after. I think they're already really loyal anyway, so I don't really need it just yet. So now what I'm going to do is bang on improve opinion again. So we should be able to improve it a lot more. Let's plus 30 over time. So that should give us more than enough to get that alliance. Because there's only negative 20 reasons. Now if we can get that alliance, I'll be incredibly happy. So we'll try and do that. At least it opens up another front for Macedon. So they've got two, two fronts to fight. Which gives us um, time to use speed and surprise to occupy what we need to occupy. Them out. Anyway, Olympic Games. Who do we send? The Dudukos? Or this guy? Let's send this guy. He's got a weird, he's got a weird fat face. Look at that face. Jesus Christ, what is he? Yeah, not the prettiest bloke in the world, is he? Um, let's send him. Let's send Theodamas. Off you go. Off you go, Theodamas. Do your stuff. A Polemon Philade died. Knew of the Tomostite. So I need a new one, which is going to be Timarchos Philade, which is the only guy necessary since we have no people left in our goddamn family, which is actually crazy. How much gold do we make? 3.05. I could do with a bit more political influence. I'd like to bang on another provincial procurators. Anyway, Olympics concluded, so it wasn't us that won. It was this guy again. I don't know if you guys remember, but he already won it before. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Um, how much gold do I make? Oh, 3.08. Harsh treatment in Eleusis. So, the city of Eleusis has been the centre of a growing tension across the province of Attica, caused by the harsh treatment of slaves in pursuit of higher profits. There are reports of pitiful living standards, with workers commonly provided with the only bare minimum of food and shelter to ensure their survival and productivity, and unduly harsh treatment and punishments at the slightest excuse of their masters. To add to injury, members of the Senate, led by Akonios to Romanid, have taken this issue up as a personal campaign for slave treatment reform, seeking to win the approval of freedmen and pass legislation that would upset the slave owners across the country. What do I do here? So this must not be allowed to continue, I lose popularity, I gain... The Hierophant gained popularity and gained loyalty with the Hierophant. Also gained desired 
Oh, I institute slaves' treatment sanctions. No. Yeah, no. Why do I? Why do I want that? Um. Hmm. Do I take the cash, the lump sum cash, gain six tyranny, lose five stability, but I get harsh treatment endorsed? Or do I do this? The situation seems to be under control. I mean, that is a free law pass, pretty much. But I don't want extra slave ratio in the in the cities. I don't want. Oh no, it's actually harsh treatment reform. Is that a law? I don't think so. Okay, it's not a law. So, what do I want to do here? Yeah, why not? Why not, why not? Let's make the slaves happier. Yeah, let's do it. Let's make the slaves happier. Why not? I'll lose a bit of I'll lose a bit of research points, but uh, we're still at 222%, so it's not really a major problem. Um, let's bang on again the goddess Athena as our omen. Get some more research points, which is always very nice to have. 27 gold. I would like to... I'd like to get more men. What tactic have we got? We've still got envelopment. Hmm... I'm going to just bank on that Macedon have got Phalanx Tactic. I'm just going to bet on that. We'll see in the first battle when we do fight them anyway. Akainas Tormominid died. And another stability drop, which is not cool. We need a new Hierophant now. God, wow. Talk about, like, no characters at all. And why am I losing money now? I mean, I was gaining money, but now we're losing money. Can someone please explain to me what's suddenly gone on there? Have I lost any trade? Oh, I've not got any trade routes. Okay, that's why. Now, let's go for some... What do I want here? Go for some stone for some fort defence. Why not? That should help. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. We're still losing money here. Um, if I take army maintenance off. But no, what about fort maintenance? Okay, they want military acts. Let's just give Nabatea a military acts. I don't know why they want that. Um, there's got to be something we can do here. What if I was to take you off drill for the moment? That might help. Let's see. A raising a host. So, An Athanadaros Stratoklid, in his capacity as general, has begun using his own personal funds to augment the size of his army. Uh, he gains, what, either three light infantry or loses loyalty. I'm going to let you get your three light infantry, but I'm still going to delete them. There we go. Boom. So we gained the loyalty boost with him. I can just get rid of him. That's how I do it. So it looks like the maintenance cost hasn't increased. Why does it cost that much? Hmm. We've suddenly lost a massive spike in income. I think it's because we haven't got the trade routes going. And I'm going to need to... Um, I'm going to have to bang down the fort maintenance and bang down the... No, nah, bang down the army maintenance quickly. Just to get enough cash so I can get the trade routes and then I'll just bang it up again. I need to remember though because I tend to forget quite often that I can... That I've got my army maintenance reduced and my fort maintenance reduced. So I need to just do this now. We'll import some... Cloth over here. Get some extra tax going. Anything to do with money will import. We're running going on cash here. Are you kidding me? I'm no longer importing stone. I just paid for that trade route and then I don't import it anymore. So that's basically wasted 15 gold, which is quite quite nice. Thank you. Thanks, game. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, pirate lair. And I am going to leave the pirate lair because I don't want to lose the local tax. So we'll leave the pirate lair. That's fine. Can I no longer import anything here? What's going on? Oh, I can. Let's go for... Oh, let's go for some papyrus. Why not? More research points. We'll have some of that. Can I now ally myself with these guys? So damn close. Are you kidding me? Negative eight reasons. I need more reasons. Maybe a gift. I think a gift would work. 
We need to save up for a gift after. That's what we'll do. We'll save up for a gift and we'll get an alliance with them. That's got to be the got to be the solution here. Are they planning to kill me? Not yet. They will though at some point. They fucking will. We know Macedon will. Got enough food there. I could probably let's go for some papyrus as well. All this is to increase local research points, which would increase our research efficiency, which is what we want. And also, also it will also increase our gold, because every trade route does increase our gold. And I want to bang on another provincial procurators here. We need more pop output. Yes, please. More gold, more everything, sir. What do I want here? Something to do with, let's get cloth. Let's get cloth. Okay, so that's more tax. Which is what we want. So now we've got a little bit more cash. We make 4.02 per month. Can I bang back on my armies? We'll just do this event, then I'll see if I can put my army maintenance back to normal. And the fort maintenance. And a small favour. The fortunes of the political factions rise and fall about as frequently as the tide. Today, the military faction leader approached us with the offer of a simple gift. 25 political influence for 5 support from the military faction and a favour. Please, thank you. But let's bang you onto default and bang you back on there as well. So I only make 0.36 now. I think we've lost quite a few modifiers, to be honest. That's probably why we're making so much compared to before. Embrace piracy. Um, so I'm going to take the commerce value and the local pop growth over the ship recruit speed because we just want more money. More money is a good thing. More money is a really, really good thing. Hmm. I probably have a too big of an army, to be honest. And I could probably have reduced it, but... But we can actually keep you guys on drill because it doesn't actually increase the cost. I don't think they've fixed it yet, so... Tamil would want military access. Why do they want... I mean, they're all the way over the other side. I mean, Tamil's down here. Why do you want military access? Uh, a gift horse. We have long been warned to be suspicious of gifts, especially in the current political climate. However, an interesting proposition is made by Pelopidas, and you are the head of the Felede family and the Hierophant. Yeah, let's gain some own power. Yes, please. We'll have some of that. I have stability. Can I change something here? I would like to change it to Hades. We could bang on the national tax. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll lose some stability, but we're only at 25. It will go back up. So I'm not really worried about it. Okay, so now we're losing more gold now again. I think it's got to be... got something it's got to be do with stability, hasn't it? It's got to. Um... Probably should get rid of maybe a fort level or two. I mean, I obviously can't maintain all these forts. So, we're going to have to get rid of a fort level in Thebe. And that should help us a little bit. It does, at least we stay in the red. I'm tiring devotion, gain three free stability, thank you. Um, and we increase our military tech again. However, army maintenance will be increased, so of course we lose less, uh, we make less money. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is go for... We need some tech here. We need liturgies. Um, the researcher was... Who, who killed the researcher? The civic... Oh my god. We only have a really bad guy now. Oh god, we're going to be really running out of people. Who killed him? We informed that Dio Damnas for Lady was found brutally murdered in his home. Okay, the investigators reported that a convenient battering ram was used in the crime, a device known to be favoured by Dolans. We consider him guilty. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Hopefully with the provincial procurators banged on, it should increase our cash flow a little bit. But I think I'm going to put the army maintenance down. Just for the time being. I don't think anyone wants to kill us. I mean, Macedon aren't planning our demise, so... Um, a question of sanity. Whether down to recent events, personal character, or political machinations, a rather amusing build has been brought before the Assembly, listing in excruciating detail the curious personal habits of our Archon, a Koinos Terominid. The bill is naturally laughed at, uh, laughed out of the Assembly, but the perpetrator refuses to come forward. How should we act? A uh, fish sauce for everybody, because we're lunatic. Oh, we're insane. What the hell? Does that, was that my original thinker? Does that, does that give me that? Or because I'm an original thinker. No, I'm a lunatic. So let's give fish sauce to everyone. I've got either. I would like the stability, please. Please. Of stability, please. For six stability, please. No, did I get original thinker? What did we get? Oh, we got original thinker. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. 
I'd have preferred to have the um, the six stability though. Olympic Games, who do we send? I'll send the nephew of the Dadukos. We'll send Metrodoros. We have shit characters. Really shit people. Uh, friends across borders. Um, he wants to use, the, use like oh, his network to defend the Nesiotic League. But yeah, no. I mean, I don't have the gold to do so, mate. So go away. Please leave me alone. Uh, make 2.9 on gold. But that's because our armies aren't maintained. Um, Olympus concluded. It was this guy that won. Spartacus and Nikigarid. Looks like Macedon are bloody monopolising the Olympics. Um, someone died. It was the Hierophant. Be the new one. Wow. Wow. I have no characters. That civil war got rid of all of the people. It's crazy. It's just insane. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need more people. And for that, with the other couple of seats, we could either conquer um, or bloody bribe people abroad and bring them over. And let's go for a tradition here. I'm gonna go for the morale of armies and the recruit merc cost here. Um, just because extra army morale is nice. And then we're going to go down this side so I can go to the Victor's Spoils, which allows us to slave raid. I think that would be something that could be really cool. Yeah, that could be definitely really cool. We'll do that. How long till I can activate this? 14 months? We'll wait till I can activate the Blessing of Hades. Let's go for the National Tax. What's the next level of Civic Advances give us? Capital Import Routes could be cool. That's Diplo Rep. Uh, Diplo Relations, sorry. Military, uh, the military, next military tech is discipline we could get, that's pretty cool. But I want literatures here, we'll go for the extra 5% national tax. We have a new ruler now, um, on the Marcos to Romanid, 6582 is okay, so the Mercantile Faction, which gives us some more cash, which is good. Um, let's call down a, no, I can't call that down yet, I have a scorned family though, the to Romanid, so I need an oratory researcher. I'm going to put the Stratoclid first, actually no. Are you, what are you good at? You're good at zeal. Does anybody... What can, I get rid of Filet Day or Stratoclid. I'll get rid of you when we get the extra stability. I'm not putting the shit research. I'll put Metrodor or Stratoclid. And we'll wait till we get that stability up. And then we'll proper, how to put it, change one of the um, religious guys in office. And we'll put the guy who scorned. Um, ooh, I can get two citizens in Epidoros or two slaves. Where's Epidoros again? Slaves. Two slaves, please. Thank you. It's not a city, so I'll soon get the slaves. It's extra cash for us, which is always nice. Uh, the influence of the Tyromanid family. The fate of the Republic and that of the Tyromanid family is and always will be intertwined. It is therefore a matter of great urgency that there are currently not enough Tyromanid persons of quality ready to shoulder the responsibilities of the state. So I need to bring somebody in, this researcher or the Aeropagus. Let's bring in the Aeropagus. The other Pegasus is good. Oh, that gets rid of the Scorn family thing. That's cool. So we don't have to kind of get rid of the guy. Um, extra religious advances, which is cool. We make 5.15 or 5.17 gold. Um, can I go for something else tech-wise at some point? Pop migration speed could be cool. Loyalty for characters as well. Siege ability I want, though. It's got to be the siege ability just to speed things up. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. Let's see if I can put my army back on. Yeah, I can put them on normal maintenance now. Yeah, we'll leave it on normal maintenance. That's fine. I think we've also banged on another provincial... Oh, we can do another one. I'm going to bang another provincial procurator on there. We'll get as many as we can on this place. Just but how many have I got on now? See, we'll push 24% pop output. If we can keep banging them on, we'll be way better. Five months till I can bang on the Blessing of Hades for some more cash. Let's go for the Siege ability. I would like that. What about Thrace now? Would you like to be friends with me? Minus 28 reasons. Yeah, I could really do with you being friends. We need to find a way. We desperately need to find a way. And our manpower is nearly up to the max as well, so... I think we've got to, like, pretty much, pretty soon do a do-or-die stand. Maybe next episode, I think we could probably get it going if we get the Thrace Alliance, the Thracian Alliance with us. I mean, we could really do with it. A call to arms from Sparta. Oh, it's only a tiny revolt. But they do have 18k snack there, though. Where's Spartan troops? Have oh, they got no men left? Um, yeah, let's go, let's go and help them. I need to help them, because we're going to need them. So let's just get you guys on Force March. Force March, and let's get you down there. We need to get you down here pretty quickly. So we can actually beat them. 
What level is their general? Level 9 general, or 9 marshal general. Bring you guys in. They've got no morale, so I think we should be fine. Yeah, we can, we can crush them. There we go. So they're pretty crushed. Um, quickly take that back. And hopefully that should solve the problem. Let's go and finish you off. Not with you. The one with the most men. We'll quickly just stack wipe them. You're going to go on the fort up there. We'll take it. Okay, keep just stack wiping them. Get you guys off force march now. Bountiful Harvest, this is a good event, thank you. Again, 104 gold and 10 support for the Mercantile Faction, which is what I want. Get you off Force March. Now, hopefully Sparta can rebuild their army now, because it looks like they've got a, a kid. Wow, it's only Aris the Second Ajad, and he's a kid. That's why. Let's go for the Blessing of Hades here quickly. Extra cash. So now I make a bit more money. Quickly siege all that down. You, Force March you all the way back to Athens. Yeah, we, we had to we had to help Sparta because we're going to need them in the next war. Especially, I think these guys are going to attack. I'm pretty sure they're going to attack them. Spartan civil war ends. Uh, we won that civil war for you. You should be thanking us, Sparta. Although at war, what are they at war with? At war with Atolia. Okay, they're trying to take that little thing. Fair enough. We're going to put you guys back on drill again. So at least that would at least we save Sparta. They're going to get some men back. In need of assistance. So the representative of the populist faction, Akonios Toromanid, has taken it upon himself to call an effect. What? Fuck you. Yeah, I'm not paying you 208 gold. Go to hell, my friend. Go to hell, go to hell. Uh, what can I go for here? Army movement speed would be nice. I think we could go for that army movement speed. What's the next oratory? Diplo rep. Now let's wait for get the diplo diplo relations. Because then that would um Yeah, that would reduce it by 20. Okay, right, let's bang on and improve opinion here quickly. Okay. So that's cool. Once we get to the next level here, and when is that gonna be? 522, April. Not too long. It should get rid of that minus 20 because we have too many relations and we should be able to befriend the guy. That would be cool. I would love that. New military structure, so it seems Stratonikos has really taken to his job as general as he has started reworking the whole infrastructure of the troops assigned to him. However, these changes, we have started seeing a lot of officers and troops who are loyal to the general over Athens. Yeah, I don't want to take that risk, so no. You're a good general, my friend, but you're not going to have them all on your side. What's this? Oh, I thought we had a freeze, which means either change of ruler or war declaration. Athens have got no stability at all. Um, come on, very close here to getting that. Do I have a better civic guy? No, we don't. We don't at all. Could probably spend some of that gold to try and invite some people, but it's cost a lot. I would sooner save the gold so I can hire mercs for the war. Okay, we now have the extra Diplo relations, which is fantastic. I might be able to ally Thrace now. Yes, we can. Boom. Okay, so we now have an alliance over there with Thrace, who's pretty much stocked up and stoked manpower-wise. So we have a front this side that can be opened, which is pretty good. They have good tech as well. So we're in a pretty good situation. Um, what we will definitely do next episode is try and get the war going. But nobody really wants to support it. Who has the most seats? It's the populace that have a lot of the seats. So let's have a look in the government. Yeah, you're a pretty big... Why do you have so many seats? Yeah, because we've... Um, I think we did a couple of events which we give populist um, influence in the Senate. Who is the actual... Tomostit? I'm going to change it. Put you there instead. Get the mercantile faction. Give them more seats. And um, What am I trading with Macedon? Let's have a look at... Because I know I'm trading something with Macedon, so... It's um, origin. It's earthenware. Yeah, I don't want that. We'll stop trading with Macedon. We'll get something else. We'll get the earthenware from someone else. From Pontus, for example. There we go. See, we get the earthenware from Pontus. All that is cool. Um, do we have... Yeah, we can force this through the goddamn Senate. I'd feel much safer with that. 
But what we're going to do, I think we're going to just stockpile a little bit more gold to make 3.74 per month. I would like to get around about 500 so we could hire mercs if ever need be. What if I was to declare war on them? Who would they join? Not just all these guys. Orios would join. Which is over here. But there's a fort there blocking them. Um, Karoibos Sotokid was murdered. And who are you murdered by? So he's murdered with what? A club. Onamakos killed him. Who was Onamakos? He's us, the Archon. No? No, Stratonikos. Who's Stratonikos Hegemonid? Who is he? What's, it? what's, what's his name? Stratonikos Hegemonid. What, what, where were you? Stratonikos Hegemonid. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, it's a general. Yeah, I can't... Can, uh, yeah, I can't piss off the general. I need a new Stratagos now, um, which is annoying. So we're going to put this guy. We'll put Timarkos for Lady. The best man for the job. You're not brilliant, but you will do. Mind of Addendum. Gain six stability for 10 political influence. Yes, please. We'll have some of that. I know we've nearly got... Have we got another... Have we finished the provincial pocket? I think we have. Oh, we have. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Decisions. Nope. About Rome. Are Rome at war? They're not at war just yet. Have a lot of men though. 87 cohorts. They have more than Macedon. And they have quite a few allies. Do they have any feudatories? They do. Join Rome in wars as well. Um, okay. I'm very tempted. I think we'll start this war in the next episode, I think. I'll take a share. Okay. Let's also get a claim. I'm going to fabricate a couple of claims to reduce the war score cost. Um, what province have we got? We've got Arcadia, haven't we, that we could take off them. Where is Arcadia? Arcadia, Arcadia, where are you? No, not region, wrong one. Arcadia's that, and they have how much? They have quite a bit of it. Let's go make a claim on Arcadia as well. Yeah, let's get a claim on Arcadia. Make a couple of claims because it does reduce your um, aggressive expansion and war score cost if you have a claim on them. So you might as well get a couple of claims. All this while we stockpile some cash so we can hire mercs if we ever needed to hire the mercs. The more mercs we could hire, the better. Anyway, Olympic Games, who do we send? The Arapagus or the Researcher? What are you a researcher of? The military? Are you a military researcher? I think you are. I'm going to send the Arapagus. Send Abrius. You're pretty good, actually. 9765. Let's send Abrius. I could always put him back in the position afterwards. I mean, I'm pretty sure we could. Yeah, we could. We'll just wait for him to get back. Um, Hatred Bruise. So, sh what's this? Enmity C. They say no, no, knows no bounds. And they say that Johnny Sos despises on a Marcos would be a gross understatement. Okay, so basically, it's clear that yeah, these guys are trying to pee me off. Um... Surely nothing to worry about. Call him out publicly or perhaps post an extra guard. Again, suspicious. Yeah, I'm going to post an extra guard. I don't want the guy to die, so no way. Influence the Tyromanid to family, so we don't have enough people um, in the Tyromanid family, so we can choose someone to adopt. The researcher or the Tomostite? Who's the most loyal? They're both really loyal. I'm not the populist. Let's go for the mercantile guy, Nikodoros. We'll go for you. You'll be fine. You'll be more than fine. Um, is there anything I could go for here? There's nothing I really want. Civic, capital import routes, routes I do. Um, I also want the discipline, though. Hopefully we can get that before we go to war. The extra discipline would be nice. We have what? Yeah, and level 9 military tech. Olympus concluded. Wasn't us that won? The... Oh, bloody hell. Mastodon are winning them all the time. They have a load of really good generals, though, which worries me quite a bit. We have one good one, though. A level 10 general, which isn't too shabby, to be fair. Um, the guy hasn't returned for the Olympics yet, so I'll have to wait a little while. Race are not at war. They've got a lot of manpower. They've got a low stability, though. What about Rome? What's their stability? Their stability is really low. Why does the AI always have slow st low stability? Apart from Macedon, who have incredibly high stability. Why won't they join? Negative three... Bad stability. See. So we need to wait. 
A great servant to the Republic. The services of the, to the state rendered by Antialkidas and Alexarchid are without equal in this generation. Even among the great families of our country, many expect that through his deeds, his line will soon rise to be more influential than our traditional aristocratic lineages. Don't want a new family? Which, which, which one do we have, like, no people in? The Philade. The Philade line is a disgrace. Hmm. Yeah, the Philade line is a disgrace. Let's see, let's see. What's this? Null family? Oh, it's the Alex Archid now, so we have, probably have a few more people. I'm hoping... I don't know if he's changed anything. You're a minor. Oh god, no. So I pissed off the general. That's not cool. Family cast aside. Shit. That was bad. Um, let's bribe you. And then I'm going to bang on... This. Where is it? Loyalty for general. <laughs> that should solve the problem for the general. Okay, where are you, general? Okay, you like us now, sort of. Whew, okay. So it's not that bad. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. That was, could have been worse. I was getting quite worried about that, to be honest. Um, let's put Abrias filleted now. You're going to be the Abrapagus. There we go. Give us some more tax. Onomarchus falls ill. Interesting. Um, the Levantine local power of Triple Attainer want livestock, which increases our pot promotion speed if we export it, which is cool. Uh, we have a lot more gold now. Slowly getting there. We just need to wait for Rome, really, to get their stability rising. The more stability to get, the better, and then we will definitely go to war. And we have a new ruler. Um, Theodamas for Lady has been elected. He's a populist, which is not good. On the Makos, he gains crafty. Well, he was the leader, but he's not anymore. And he's a new civic researcher. Let's put on a Makos to Romanid. You're the best man for the job. And yeah, let's um, yeah, let's everything's everything's pretty stable. I just would like to now hold out war. What 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 revolt have they got? Mm hmm. So what if we were to ah, still Rome won't join? Um, I'm going to improve Rome's opinion of us a little bit. It might actually work. It's just because they've got no stability. They need stability. And Abacus is belly on Macedon, which is fantastic. We have the gold. We have the men. Excellent land management. We've received happy news from the province of Attica, where local officials report constantly abundant harvests after experimenting with new methods of land management. So Attica will be a cornucopia. I gain local... Attica gains local food modifier plus 10% to the end of the game. I send scribes to record the practices, lose gold, and the boost applies globally. Or we distribute them far and wide, and I gain... The global boost, but less than the other one. But it's not to the end of the game. This one is excellent land management, and it's till the end of the game in Attica. So we're going to take the end of the game one, just because it lasts longer. And I will try to fill out this area with as many pops as we can. So that extra bonus is going to be nice. We make 235% research efficiency, which is brilliant. Okay, Rome will go, but Sparta won't now. Because of their negative stability. Wow, they only have two stability. So we're going to have to wait for Sparta. I can't go without Sparta. Legal chicanery. I gain stability or gold. Stability, please. Thank you. Get some of that stability. It's always nice to have. Uh, come on, we need to stockpile all the gold we can stockpile. Um, civic advances, that's pretty cool. I'm going to go for another capital import route. All that is extra gold. Um... Pop promotion speed as well. I might go for that. Let's go for the pop promotion speed. It's always useful to have. And let's import something. Can I have I got cloth? I have got cloth. I've got, I think I've got papyrus. I mean, I've got a surplus of it as well. Um, maybe go for some grain. Have I got grain over here? I keep closing the thing. I keep forgetting. I have got grain. What if I get a surplus of fish? Freeman happiness. What about... Don't need surplus of leather. Base metals. No. Um, I don't think there's anything we've got. Let's just go for vegetables. Yeah, local food modifiers. Go for vegetables. Local food modifiers increase, which is cool. We'll have some of that. We'll definitely have some of that. A pirate lair. Yeah, I'm not going to touch the pirate lair here. Um, 
I'm going to let them stay. We're getting shrewd instead of just, but yeah, I like the extra attacks that the pilots give us, so we're going to keep the pilots there. I have a scorned family, so I'm going to put the one who's scorned in charge of the navy, and I'll put the worst one possible, like, maybe you, your shit. All that Alexarchid, in you go, command the navy, that gets rid of your scorned family thing, which is fine. And I think we're going to end the episode here, guys. All we need to do now is wait for Sparta to gain enough stability to be able to join us in their goddamn war. Um, they have negative four reasons. I'm hoping that they will join us. Um, let's improve their opinion quickly. That might actually help them a little bit. And then I'm hoping that us, Sparta, and Thrace can take potentially take on Macedon and just properly annoy them. I think that would be the best bet. They're already occupied at war. If we can take something and do a quick war, uh, I'll be really happy. Especially we have a really good tech advantage. I'm pretty optimistic about things like level 9 tech all over the board. Um, they're only level 5, so we have 4 extra levels above them, which gives us an extra 0.42 morale, which should really help. Um, we have a load of juicy tech as well. Um, anyway, as per usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more great Imperator Rome content, also consider subscribing to the channel. And with that said, thanks again for joining me, fellas, and hopefully catch you all in the next one. Later, people.